the shadowed manor, echoes of terror. The old abandoned mansion stood tall and ominous in the darkness of the night. Its broken windows and decrepit walls gave off an eerie aura, warning anyone who dared to enter. But a group of teenagers looking for a thrill decided to explore the haunted mansion on a dare. The leader of the group, Alex, was known for his love of horror and his fearlessness. He convinced his friends, Jack, Sarah, and Emily, to come along with him. They parked their car a few blocks away from the mansion, not wanting to draw attention to themselves. As they approached the mansion, they could feel a chill in the air, and the sound of their own footsteps seemed to echo through the darkness. The front door creaked open, inviting them in. Alex led the group inside, and they were immediately met with the musty smell of the old mansion. The walls were covered in peeling wallpaper, and the floorboards creaked under their weight. Jack chuckled nervously, trying to lighten the mood, but Sarah and Emily were already on edge. As they explored the first floor, they found nothing out of the ordinary. But as they made their way up to the second floor, they heard a faint whispering. They froze, looking at each other, trying to determine if it was just their imagination or something more sinister. Suddenly, a loud crash echoed through the mansion, causing them all to jump in fear. Let's get out of here, Sarah exclaimed, her voice shaking. But Alex, always the thrill-seeker, convinced them to stay a little longer. They continued exploring the second floor, finding nothing but old furniture covered in dusty sheets. As they turned to leave, they heard the whispering again, this time much louder. They followed the sound, and it led them to a locked door. Alex pulled out a set of keys he found in the foyer and unlocked the door, revealing a staircase leading down to the basement. The group hesitated, not wanting to go down into the dark, musty basement. But Alex was determined to find the source of the whispering. He turned on his flashlight and led the way down the stairs, with his friends following closely behind. The basement was pitch black, and the air was thick with the smell of decay. They could hear the whispering getting louder, and it seemed to be coming from a room at the far end of the basement. As they cautiously made their way towards the room, they could see a faint light coming from under the door. Alex pushed the door open, and they were met with a horrific sight. The room was filled with old, dusty dolls, all staring at them with lifeless eyes. But what caught their attention the most was a little girl, sitting in the corner, playing with a doll. She had long, dark hair covering her face, and she seemed to be muttering something to herself. The group was frozen in fear, not knowing what to do. Suddenly the little girl stopped muttering and slowly lifted her head, revealing her pale, ghostly face. Her eyes were completely black, and she had a twisted smile on her face. Play with me, she whispered, her voice sending chills down their spines. Without hesitation, they ran out of the room and back up the stairs. They could hear the little girl's laughter echoing through the mansion as they fled. They didn't stop running until they were back in their car, safe from the horrors of the old mansion. They never spoke of that night again, but they all knew they had encountered something truly evil in that basement. From that day on, the once fearless Alex was plagued with nightmares, and he could never shake off the feeling of being watched. Jack, Sarah, and Emily also experienced strange occurrences in their homes, leading them to believe that the little girl had followed them out of the mansion. Years passed, and the group of friends went their separate ways, trying to forget their terrifying experience. But one day they received a mysterious invitation to a reunion at the old mansion. Curiosity got the best of them, and they all decided to attend. As they entered the mansion, they were greeted by the same little girl, now grown up with the same twisted smile on her face. She revealed that she was a witch who had been trapped in the mansion for centuries, and she needed their help to break the curse that had been placed upon her. Feeling guilty for leaving her trapped all those years, the group agreed to help her. But as they performed the ritual to break the curse, they realized too late that they had made a grave mistake. The witch was not a victim, but an evil entity and the curse was meant to keep her contained in the mansion. As they tried to flee, the mansion started to crumble around them, and they could hear the witch's laughter once again. 
In a desperate attempt to escape, they ran towards the basement where they had first encountered the evil entity. But as they reached the basement, they were met with a wall of fire blocking their escape. They were trapped with no way out. The witch's laughter grew louder and louder, and they knew they were doomed. They had unleashed a horror that would haunt them for eternity. The old abandoned mansion stood tall and ominous once again, waiting for its next victims to enter its doors. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.